Uh, welcome to the lecture series on numerical methods. Last class we have discussed uh, this interpolation on finite difference operators. So, in the finite difference operators, first uh, we have uh, started about uh, this Newton's forward difference operator like uh, delta operators, nabla operator, then uh, this uh, central difference operators and uh, average operators. So, this finite difference operators whatever we have discussed uh, that includes like uh, uh, nabla, delta and uh, this uh, central difference operator delta and the average operator mu. And uh, in this presentation first uh, I will just uh, give a few introduction about uh, this uh, few operators that I have discussed in the last class. Then we will just go for uh, Newton's forward difference formula and Newton's backward difference formula and then the error approximations. So, this forward difference operator, backward difference operators whatever it is operated in the last lecture that are basically expressed in the form of uh, nabla of f of x that is represented as f of x minus f of x minus h and uh, delta of f of x it is expressed in the form of f of x plus h minus f of x and uh, this central difference operator delta of f of x it is expressed in the form of f of x plus h by 2 minus f of x minus h by 2 and this uh, average operator this is expressed in the form of half of f of x plus h by 2 plus f of x minus h by 2. So, whenever we will go for this application of uh, this uh, four difference operators. So, then we have to go for the shift operator and uh, differential operator here. Basically, if we are just using sequentially these operators, so sequentially this can be applied like if nabla of y1 can be applied, so it can be written in the form of y1 minus y0 here. So, then nabla of uh, y2 can be written as y2 minus y1. So, likewise we can just write nabla of uh, y n can be written as y n minus y n minus 1. Similarly, if we will just uh, apply this uh, forward difference operator sequentially, so delta of y 0 this can be written as y 1 minus y 0, delta of uh, y 1 can be written as uh, y 2 minus y 1. So, likewise if you will just express delta of y n minus 1 can be written as y n minus y n minus 1. So, similarly we can just use for uh, central difference operators like uh, delta of y r if you will just write this can be written as y of r plus half minus y of r minus half here. Similarly, if you will just uh, use this operator in a average operator form. So, this can be expressed in the form of uh, mu of y r this can be written in the form of half of y r plus half plus y of r minus half here. And if we are just using this operators in a safety operator form, usually E is called the safety operator here. So, usually this safety operator is denoted in the form of E and it can be written in the form of E of f of x as f of x plus a is here. Similarly, if we will just write a differential operator, so this differential operator is signified as capital D here and if it is operated on f of x here that can be written as d by dx of f of x. So, if we want to extend this uh, operations in different forms like how we can express this delta operator, nabla operator or the central difference operator or this average operator in shift operator form then we have to expand this operators in different forms. So, first if you will just uh, express this shift operator in a recursive way. So, we can just write E of f of x as f of x plus h then E of f of x plus h as f of x plus 2 h there. So, if you will just uh, express f of x plus h in a Taylor series expansion form then we can write this Taylor series expansion as that is basically if you are just writing E as a shift operator here it can be expressed in the form of f of x plus h here. So, then sequentially if you will just use E of E of f of x here. So, it can be expressed as E of f of x plus h 
and this can be written as f of x plus 2 is here. So, similarly, if we will just uh, use like a delta of f of x here, so it can be written in the form of f of x plus h minus f of x is this one. So, it can be written as e of f of x minus f of x here and uh, which can be written as e minus 1 into f of x. Similarly, we can express nabla operator in the form of shift operator here. So, that is basically written in the form of like nabla of f of x here as f of x minus f of x minus h. Since we are just writing e of f of x in this form here, so that is why it can be written as e of e of f of x as e raised power 2 f of x here. So, this means that this can be written as f of x plus 2 h here. If we want to write f of x minus h, then it can be written in the form of e of minus 1 of f of x here. So, similarly, we can express this expansion here as f of x minus e power of minus 1 of f of x, which can be written as f of x or we can just write this one as 1 minus e inverse that is as the operator here operated on function f of x here. So, different operators like central difference operators also we can just express that is in the form of uh, e to the power half minus e to the power minus half. Since we are expressing this central difference operator that is that is the delta of f of x usually it is written as f of x plus h by 2 minus f of x minus h by 2. So, which can be written as delta of f of x as f of x plus h by 2 minus f of x minus h by 2 and this can be written as e power of half f of x minus e power of minus half of f of x which can be written as e power half minus e power minus half of f of x here. So, obviously, we can just write the operator as delta equals to e to the power half minus e to the power minus half here. Similarly, the average operator it can be expressed in the form of mu of f of x as half of f of x plus h by 2 plus f of x minus h by 2. And this can be expressed as a half of e power of half plus e power of minus half operated on f of x. And hence, we can just express mu as a half of e power of half here plus e power of minus half here. So, sequentially if you will just apply this uh, shift operator, then we can express delta plus 1 equals to e equals to 1 plus del square by 2 plus delta square root of 1 plus del square by 4 also. So, it can be obtained from this operator here since usually we are just expressing delta as e raised power half minus e raised power minus half here. If we will take square on both the sides, then we can express that as since we are just expressing delta as e power of half minus e power of minus half here. So, that is why we can just express del square as e plus e raise power minus 1 minus 2 here and which can be expressed in the form of e plus 1 by e minus 2 and which can be written as e square plus 1 minus 2 e by e here. And in a product form, if you will just write, this can be expressed as e square minus 2 e minus del square of e plus 1 equals to 0 here. And this implies that it can be written as e square minus e into 2 plus del square plus 1 this equals to 0. If we want to find this uh, root here that is as e, e can be written in the form of that as 1 plus del square by 2 plus delta square root of 1 plus del square by 4. So, this is the uh, formulation usually we are just obtaining here that is e in the form of uh, central difference operators. So, 
if we want to express this one E as in the form of a forward difference operator here. So, E is usually written as 1 plus delta also. Since we are just writing delta of f of x as E of f of x minus f of x here, which can be expressed as E minus 1 of f of x. And this implies that delta can be expressed as E minus 1. This implies E equals to 1 plus delta here. So, directly if you, you want to find this root here, we can just write this one as a minus b plus or minus square root of v square minus 4 ac square root by 2 a. So, here a is 1 here and the coefficient minus b means this is b coefficient is 2 plus delta square and c is 1. So, that is why this is the root for this equation here. Next, if we want to express this uh, delta in the form of a average operator here, we can just uh, express here the average operator as mu equals to half of e power of half plus e of minus half here. And uh, if we take square at both the sides, so it can be expressed as mu square equals to 1 by 4. This can be expressed as e plus e power minus 1 plus 2 here. Since already we have known that e plus e inverse, it can be written as here, if you will just see, this can be written as delta square plus 2 here. So, I can just write this one as 1 by 4 del square plus 2 plus 2 here. And if I want to find this uh, square root of uh, this mu function, so it can be written in the form of like uh, mu equals to that is expressed here also that is in the form of like uh, plus or minus 1 by 2 square root of uh, del square plus 4 here. So, usually it is just uh, written in the form of like uh, if you will just write inside this function here that can be written in the form of del square by 4 plus or minus here, so plus 1 here. So, this is the expression that is written in the form of uh, mu as in the form of delta here. So, next if we want to express this uh, shift operator in the form of a differential operator here. So, usually E of f of x is written in the form of uh, f of x plus h and hence if you will just expand in Taylor series form here that can be written as f of x plus h f dash x plus h square by factorial 2 f double dash of x plus this one. So, we can just write this one as since uh, f dash x is written in the form of uh, here h d of f of x h square by 2 factorial d square of f of x here. So, we can express this as e raise h d operated on f of x. So, directly we can just write e as e to the power h d here. So, specifically if we are just expressing this one, this shift operator in the form of differential operators here, then we can express this central difference operator delta as e to the power half minus e to the power minus half which can be written as e to the power h d by 2 minus e to the power minus h d by 2, which can be written as 2 sin hyperbolic h d by 2 here. Similarly, if we will just write average operator here mu, this can be written as e to the power half plus e to the power minus half by 2 which can be written as e to the power h d by 2 plus e to the power minus h d by 2 and divided by 2 here. And uh, this can be written as I think cos hyperbolic h d by 2 here. Since usually it is just expressed in the form of half here. So, that is why half is coming over there. So, this half will cancel here. So, cos hyperbolic h d by 2 here. So, 
next uh, we'll just uh, go for this uh, interrelation between different different operators here so that is uh, e as expressed as uh, in the form of delta in the form of nabla in the form of a central difference operator delta and uh, then it can express in the form of differential operators so all of these operators we want to express in different forms that is uh, e delta nabla and the central difference operator small delta then uh, mu is the average operator then the differential operators here so then we'll just go for this uh, polynomial approximation in differential operators how we can use this differential operators in a differential form also there this means that how we can use this forward difference operators like your delta nabla in a differential sense for a polynomial here so if suppose we are just considering f of x is a polynomial here first we will assume f of x is a constant polynomial suppose if f of x is a constant polynomial we can write f of x equals to a here so if i am just writing this a polynomial f of x as a constant polynomial here then i can apply here this forward difference operator del of f of x can be written as f of x plus h minus f of x here which can be written as a minus a this equals to 0 here so next if i am just expressing f of x equals to a x that is a polynomial of a degree 1 here then delta of f of x we can just write as f of x plus h minus f of x and this can be written as since f of x plus h it can be replaced as a into x plus h here minus a x so this can be written as a x plus a h minus a x here and it can be written as a h here so if again we will apply here delta operator this means that uh, del square of f of x for this function here we can just express delta of delta of f of x which can be written as delta of a h and obviously we have already defined that uh, delta of a constant function this is just giving you a zero value so it can be expressed as uh, zero here similarly if you will just consider f of x is a second degree polynomial that is f of x equals to x square then delta of f of x this will just uh, give you a first degree polynomial and uh, delta square of uh, f of x that will just give you a constant polynomial there so suppose if you are just considering f of x equals to x square here so if you will just consider f of x equals to x square here then delta of f of x can be written as x plus h whole square minus x square here so i can just write this one as x square plus 2 x h plus h square minus x square and it can be written as 2 x h plus h square here so repeatedly if i will just apply one more operator here this means that delta square of f of x i can just write delta of delta of f of x which can be written as a delta of 2x h plus h square here obviously already we have defined this one i can just write h of delta of sorry 2h delta of x here plus delta of h square so already we have obtained that delta of operated on a constant function that is just giving you zero value then we can just write this one as 2h here sorry 2 h square here since uh, i have just written delta of x here 2 h square since uh, delta of x can be written as x plus h minus x this one so that is why it can be written as h here so the final function is coming as 2 h square here so if we are just uh, applying this operators on a polynomial so it is just uh, operated on like 0 1 2 degree polynomials in a generalized form if you want to express this operator so there is a theorem for this and uh, the theorem statement states that the nth difference of f of x equals to x to the power n is n factorial h to the power n here this means that the statement we can just write it off as
the nth difference of f of x equals to x to the power n is n factorial h to the power n here. So, this we can just prove this theorem in the form of uh, induction here since say uh, for n equals to 0 we have already satisfied that one for n equals to 1 we have satisfied n equals to 2 in the previous case already we have shown that one. So, if we will just assume that this theorem is true up to n minus 1 this means that 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1 here we can just write if f of x equals to x to the power n minus 1 then it can be written as delta to the power n minus 1 f of x can be written as n minus 1 factorial h to the power n minus 1 here. So, first we will assume that uh, the theorem is a uh, true for n equals to 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1 suppose. Then each of these functions so like f of x equals to x it can be expressed as uh, your function that is a uh, 1 there that is delta of f of x. If we are just expressing f of x equals to x square then delta square of f of x can be expressed as a 2 there. So, likewise it is just satisfied that this theorem is true for n equals to n minus 1 also there. So, if we will just uh, assume that this theorem is true for 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1 here, then for delta to the power n of f of x, we can just write delta to the power n of x to the power n here. So, we can just express this one as delta to the power n minus 1 delta of x to the power n here. And uh, this can be written as delta to the power n minus 1 of x plus h whole power n minus x to the power n here. And we can just expand this x plus h whole power n in a binomial sense. And if we will just expand this one in a binomial sense here, we can just write delta to the power n minus 1 and uh, x to the power n plus n h x to the power n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 by factorial 2 h square x to the power n minus 2. So, likewise the final is h to the power n minus x to the power n here. So, x to the power n x to the power n it can cancel it out and I can just write delta to the power n minus 1 n h x to the power n minus 1 plus n into n minus 1 by factorial 2 h square x to the power n minus 2 plus up to h to the power n. Since already we have assumed that this theorem is true for uh, all the values that is uh, 0, 1, 2 up to n minus 1, if you will just see here, except this term all other terms will take 0 values here. Since all of these polynomials are degree less than n minus 1 here. So, the final term we can just write as delta to the power n minus 1 n h x to the power n minus 1 here plus all other terms are assumed to be 0. So, in the final form we can just write delta of uh, f of x that is uh, sorry delta to the power n of f of x that is uh, delta to the power n x to the power n it can be written as delta to the power n minus 1 n h x to the power n minus 1 here and which can be written as n h into n minus 1 factorial h to the power n minus 1. So, it can be written as n factorial h to the power n. Finally, we are just obtaining if f of x is a polynomial of uh, degree n then we can write delta to the power n x to the power n as n factorial h to the power n here. So, next uh, we will just uh, discuss about how we can just use in a tabular form of the forward difference operator, backward difference operator, central difference operators and average operators here. So, if you will just write this operators in a tabular form, 
in the forward difference table if you will just see we are just moving in the end of the table to the beginning value of the function in a forward difference form in a backward difference form we will just move to the value which is existing at the end of the table there. So, if I am just writing this a forward difference table. So, this forward difference table can be written as if I am just writing here i x i y i here then i equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 suppose. Then x i values are x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 are the values. Associated this functional values will be y 0, y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4 here. Then if you will just use this forward difference operator then delta of y i. So, first two differences so I can just write delta y 0 here then second one I can just write delta of y 1 here, third one I can just write delta of y 2 here and the last one I can just write delta of y 3 here. Since difference of these two is just giving you delta y 0 here. So, then difference of y 2 minus y 1 is just providing delta of y 1 here. Then difference of uh, y 3 minus y 2 is providing delta of y 2 here. Then difference of y 3 y 4 minus y 3 it is just providing the value of delta of y 3 here. Similarly, if you will just go for the second operator here that is in forward difference form, I can just write the difference of these two it can be written as delta square of y 0 here. Difference of these two can be written as delta square of y 1 here. The difference of these two we can just write delta square of y 2 here. Similarly, we can just go delta q of uh, y i here and uh, where we can just get the difference of uh, these two it will just give you delta q of y 0 here difference of these two it will just give you delta q of y 1 here. Again if you will take the final difference since we have here existing 5 different points. So, 5 different points means lastly we can just uh, go up to the polynomial of degree 4 here. So, then I can just write the difference of these two can be written as a delta to the power 4 of y 0 here. So, in the final form we are just obtaining this value that if you will just see in the final form this difference is moving to y 0 point in the final form. This means that if a value is existing at the beginning of the table and if it is asked to evaluate then we can use this uh, forward difference form to evaluate this value in a differential form there. Then we will just go for the discussion of a backward difference table here. So, if we will just go for backward difference table the same formulation we will just use, but uh, this will take a step back of uh, the values for each of this uh, calculated value or the calculated tabular points. So, if you will just use this uh, backward difference table here that is in the form of uh, i equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and associated tabular values are like uh, x i is that is x 0, x 1, x 2, x 3, x 4 here. Yeah and associated variable values that is y i as y 0, y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4 here. If you will just express this tabular values then we can just write this as nabla of y i here. So, nabla of y i we can just write here nabla of y 1 then difference of y 2 minus y 1 this will just give you nabla of y 2 here difference of y 3 minus y 2 that will just give you nabla of y 3 here. Difference of y 4 minus y 3 this will just give you nabla of y 4 here. Similarly, if you will take difference of uh, nablas here then nabla square of y i i can just write. So, nabla of y 2 minus y 1. So, this will just uh, give you nabla square of y 2 here then nabla square of uh, y 3 here 
then the difference of nabla of y4 minus nabla of y3 that will just give you nabla square of y4 here. If we will take again the difference of uh, these two here that is nabla q of yi, I can just write nabla q of y3 here, then the difference of these three that is nabla q of y4 here. And if I will just write nabla 4 of yi here, then the difference of these two that will just give you nabla 4 of y4 here. In the final form, if you will just see this difference is uh, moving towards the end of the tabular value here. This means that if a function is asked to evaluate at the end of the table, we can use this backward difference table to evaluate the values here. So, in the next lecture, we will just continue this central difference operator and average uh, difference operator and uh, next onwards, we will just go for this Newton's uh, forward difference formula and backward difference formula. Thank you for listening this lecture.